Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So far, 16 problems I have compute, uh, completed on computing the income from house property. Now in this video, two more problems, 17th and 18th problem I am going to explain. So after completing so many problems, I think you are in a position to attempt the problems on computing the income from house property. Very few provisions are there and every problem you will come across one or two new points. So remaining 80-90% points are same. right? Now 17th problem. Before starting the 17th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points of 17th and 18th problem then I will explain. Now, see the 17th problem. Mr. Mahesh Chandra has built a house on a leasehold land. He has let out the building on a monthly rent of 18,500. This is the actual rent. Actual rental value is 18,500 per month. Municipal value 6,800 per month. This is the MRV. And fair rental value FRV is 9,000 per month. So we are given ARV, FRV, MRV. Standard rent is not given. The house is not governed by Rent Control Act. So only by considering these three values, MRV, FRV, ARV, we can find out the GAV, gross annual value. During the previous year, his expenses on house on rent received are municipal taxes 8%. That means here the amounts are not given, percentages are given. So we have to calculate the amount. Municipal taxes are 8% of rent received. Right? Staff security maintenance is 10% of rent received and repairs 15% insurance 3% repairs and insurance should be completely ignored because no deductions will be given for repairs and insurance just you ignore it interest paid on loan taken to construct the house allowed as deduction under section 24b 10% on the outstanding loan of 9 lakh Loan amount outstanding 9 lakh, 10% 90,000. That will be around. Compute the income from house property for the current assessment year. The new point in this problem is the municipal taxes and uh, staff security, security staff maintenance. This is given in percentage, but we need amount. And one point you remember security staff maintenance. This is a service given by the uh, owner to the tenant. So this service provided by owner to the tenant will be deducted from ARV, actual rental value. That is the new point. So computation of income from house property of Mr. Mahesh Chandra for the assessment year. Gross annual value will compute in the working note. Municipal taxes will compute in the working note. NAV, deductions under section 24, standard action under section 24A, interest on loan taken to construct the house. Then we will get income from house property. Now first of all, actual rent. The actual rent is 18,500 per month into 12. 2,22,000 is the actual rent received. On this actual rent received, 8% are the municipal taxes. So 8% of 2,22,000, 17,760. This 17,760 is the municipal taxes here I have taken. Right? And staff security maintenance, 10% on rent received. 10% of 222,000, 22,200. This staff, uh, security staff maintenance is the service provided. So this 22,200 should be deducted in calculating ARV. So rent received minus cost of facilities provided. Because no service charges are charged. The owner is not making any service charges to the tenant. Only service is being provided without taking any money from the tenant. Now, gross annual value. GAV is higher of the following three amounts. MRV, FRV, ARV. MRV is given municipal rent value 6,800 per month into 12. In the problem it is given 81,600. FRV 9,000 per month into 12. 1 lakh 8,000. ARV. For calculating ARV from rent received, deduct the security staff maintenance. Expenditure incurred on security staff maintenance. How much? 22,200. 
So here 2 lakh 22,000 minus 22,200, you will get 199,800 is the highest value. The highest value among these three is 199,800. So GAV is 199,800. So GAV we got municipal taxes deduct, you will get NAV. 182,040 NAV. 30% is the st standard deduction. 30% of NAV. 54,612. Interest on loan taken to construct the house. 10% of 9 lakh. That is given 90,000. Now add up 52,612 plus 90. 144,612. Now deduct 182,040 minus 144,612. 37,428. This is the income from house property. In working order, you can write interest on loan taken is 10% of 9 lakh comes to 90,000. Security staff maintenance, 10% of rent received, that is 22 to 20, 200, will be treated as the cost of facilities provided to the tenant. So it will be deducted in calculating ARV. In calculating ARV, the cost of facilities provided will be deducted. Other expenses are not allowed as deduction. Repair insurance are given in the problem. No deduction allowed. That's it. So this is the end of 17th problem. Now see the 18th one. Sri Vimal Chopra is owning three houses. All the houses are used by him for his residential purpose. He has not let out any house. He is having three houses and all the three houses he is using for self residence. From the following particulars, advise him in selecting his option for self-occupied properties. According to the provisions of Income Tax Act, an SSC can keep two houses as self-occupied. The third house, which is used as self-occupied house, will be treated as a deemed to be let out. Actually, it is not let out. But Income Tax Act says only two houses can be treated as self-occupied. You can keep as many houses as you like. For example, a person is there, he is having five houses. All the five houses he is using for self-occupation. No let out. Income tax act says you can keep only two houses as self-occupied. Remaining three houses, it is not let out. But income tax act will treat those houses as deemed to be let out. Just like let out. And they will compute the income. And on that income he has to pay the tax. So here in our problem, the SSC is having three houses. He has to decide which two houses can be treated as self-occupied and the third house will be treated as deemed to be let out. It is left to the SSC to decide which two houses he should keep as self-occupied. SSC has to decide. Now in this case, we will, uh, we will take three different cases. In first case, the first house will be treated as deemed to be let out and the second and third house will be treated as self-occupied. Then what is the income from house property we compute? Second case, house two will be treated as deemed to be let out and first house and third house will be treated as self-occupied. Then we find out what is the total income from house property. Third case, house number three will be treated as deemed to be let out. And first house and second house self-occupied. Again, we calculate income from house property. When we compare these three cases, whichever case has a lower income from house property, thus that case will be taken. Well, that case will be adopted, opted by the SSC. Now we'll calculate one by one. So here, for your information, I have written occupying more than two houses are self-occupied. Income Tax Act specifically has given the provision occupying more than two houses as self-occupied. Then what will happen? When the SSC has occupied more than two houses for his own residence, two houses according to the choice of the SSC will be treated as self-occupied. According to the choice of the SSC, two houses he can keep as self-occupied. The third house will be treated as a deemed to be let out, just like let out. Now case one. House number one will be treated as deemed to be let out. Then house number two, house number three will be treated as self-occupied. Now we compute. House number one, deemed to be let out. When it is deemed to be let out, we calculate GAV as usual. How we calculate the income from let out house? 
same method we follow for deemed to be let off. First, we need GAV. GAV normally is higher of the following three MRV, FRV, ARV. But there is no ARV because it is not actually let out. In reality, it is not actually let out. So we'll have two figures MRV and FRV. Whichever is higher is the GAV. In our problem, you can see house number one. MRV 10,000 per month, FRV 12,500 per month, which is higher? 12,500. So GAV is equal to 12,500 into 12, 1,50,000. Municipal taxes. For first house, municipal taxes are 18,000. Deduct 18,000, 1,32,000 NAV. 30% standard deduction, 30% of NAV, 39,600. Now, 24B, interest on loan taken to construct the house, it is given. Interest on loan taken to repair the house. Yes, it is allowed. Whether the loan is taken to construct the house, purchase the house or repair the house, it will be allowed as reduction. So 14,000. Here I have taken 40. This bracket denotes minus. So 132,000 minus 39,600 minus 14,000. You will get 78,400. This is the income from deemed to be let out house. First house. Right. Second house and third house. These two houses will be self-occupied. For self-occupied house, the annual value, NAV will be nil. Already I told you in the previous videos that for self-occupied house, the net annual value will be nil. No need to calculate GAV, no municipal taxes. NAV will be nil. House number two, NAV nil. Minus. Only one deduction will be allowed interest on loan taken to repair the house. Now, in the second house, you can see how much is the interest paid on loan taken to repair the house 20,000 20,000 so 20,000 will be allowed 0 minus 20,000 is minus 20,000 this is a loss from second house third house again it is self-occupied two houses house number two house number three both are self-occupied so here NAV nil now actually how much is the interest on loan in the third house it is given as 30,000 First, the second house already 20,000 is given. Now, if we take 30,000 here, total will be 50,000. Income Tax Act says for self occupied house, interest on loan taken to repair the house will maximum 30,000, not more than 30,000. That is ceiling limit given. Ceiling limit given for self occupied houses, whether one house or two houses. The total maximum limit. Of deduction is 30,000 out of 30,000 20,000 is already claimed in second house so only 10,000 deduction he can get from third house in the problem 30,000 is the interest 30,000 not allowed only 10,000 allowed right so 10,000 minus 10,000 so what you are having in first house number one there is an income of 78,400 house number two there is a loss of 20,000 House number three, there is a loss of 10,000. Now we set off. The so net income from house property, 78,400 minus 20,000 minus 10,000. You will get 48,400. This is the net income from house property in case one. What is that case one? House number one, deemed to be let out. House number two, three, self occupied. Now we change our option. House number two, will be treated as deemed to be let out house two will be treated as deemed to be let out house number one and three will be self-occupied same procedure will follow house number two deemed to be let out gm now in the problem you can see house number two mrv 9000 frv 10000 whichever is higher 10000 is higher so 10000 into 12 1 lakh 20 thousand municipal taxes for second house 16200 Deduct 16200, 103800 NAV, 30% on NAV, 31140. Interest on loan of second house is 20,000. Deduct 20,000. So 103800 minus 31140 minus 20,000, 52,660. That is the income from house number two, deemed to be let out. Now, first house and third house, self occupied. First house, self occupied, NAV nil. Interest on loan taken to consider repair the house. First house, it is 14,000. So deduct 14,000 minus 14,000 loss from house number one. 
Now, house number three, self occupied. Then, NAV nil, interest on loan taken to repair the house. House number three, 30,000. But can we give 30,000? No. Because if we give 30,000, 30 plus 14, 44,000. Not 44,000 will not be allowed. The maximum limit of deduction is 30,000 only for interest on loan taken to repair the house. Right? So here 14,000 already claimed. So 30,000 minus 14,000. 16,000 he can claim from house number 3. So minus 16,000 this is the loss. Now net income from house poverty. 52,660 minus 14 minus 16. That comes to 22,660. This is the net income from house property in case 2. Now case 3. House number 3 will be treated as deemed to be let out. And house 1 and 2 will be self-occupied. So first we calculate house number 3 deemed to be let out. GAV. The MRV is 8,000 and 9,000. FRV is 9,000. Whichever is higher. So 9,000 is higher. 9,000 into 12. 1 lakh 8,000. Municipal taxes of third house is 15,000. Deduct 15,000, 93,000 NAV, 30%, 27,900. Interest on loan, third house, is 30,000. Deduct 30,000. So 93,000 minus 27,900 minus 30,000. 35,100 is the income from deemed to be let out house, house number 3. Now house number 1 and house number 2, both are self-occupied. So NAV will be nil. Less interest on loan taken, first house, it is 14,000. So deduct 14,000, 0 minus 14,000, minus 14,000, loss from house number 1. Now house number 2, NAV nil, interest on loan, actually interest on loan 20,000 given, but he will not get 20,000. Already he got 14,000. So 30 minus 14, 16,000 he will can get, minus 16,000. So net income from house property is 35,100 minus 14,000 minus 16,000, 5,100. Now we got the net income from house property in case 1, case 2, case 3. In case 1, income from house property 48,400. In case 2, income from house property 22,660. And case 3, income from house property 5,100. Now compare and see in which option the income from house property is the lowest. 5,100 is the minimum. So the SSC will choose option number three what is that option number three house number three will be treated as deemed to be let out and house number one and two are treated as self-occupied that is case number three that option will be beneficial to the ssc his tax liability will be less if he chooses third option if he chooses first and second option his tax liability will increase will be more that's it so this is the new point in this problem. An SSC can keep only two houses as self-occupied. The remaining houses will be treated as deemed to be let out. If he is having more than two houses as self-occupied. That's all. So in this problem, two problems I have in this video, two problems I have explained 17th and 18th. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video, share my channel, give your comments, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And by the super thanks which is given below my video, inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.